The practical life area is usually located near the kitchen in our bright, spacious classrooms. Attractive, carefully selected activities are set out in low shelves where children can see them and use them whenever they are interested. Our students work on many things, practicing using a dropper, carefully dusting plants, learning about mixing colors, again using a dropper and strengthening the three fingers they will need for writing, practicing pouring water, Notice the mat and the little sponge that assists the young man in cleanup. Learning to squeeze a sponge, transferring water from one dish into another. Notice the care and the very clear, deliberate process here. Learning to string beads, notice how focused the young boy is and how the teacher is carefully observing him and at the same time keeping an eye on the rest of the classroom. Learning to sew, see how she really focuses on her work. Another work that strengthens the fingers she will need later on as she learns to write. Our students learn to do these activities so carefully during one-on-one -on -one demonstrations. Watch as this teacher shows in slow, deliberate movements how to fold a napkin. Few words and an emphasis on doing each step carefully, precisely. Notice how this little girl of maybe maybe three focuses on her work, repeating carefully what the teacher showed her. After the teacher left during my visit, she kept at this work, folding napkins and carefully unfolding them and putting them back for a good 15 minutes. As you'll watch, you'll notice her face. You'll see how she concentrates on her work. And you'll see how she carefully repeats the exact steps that the teacher has shown her. Also watch in the background as other children go about their own work, rolling up their mats, taking works and replacing them. That is typical in a well-run Montessori classroom. Fold a nap folding napkins is a simple task. Washing a table in Montessori is a long, multi-step process. Watch here as this boy takes his work from the shelf and puts it on the floor. Watch as he carefully takes his pitcher and fills it with water and then walks carefully again to the table he wants to wash and pours it into a bucket. <laughs> as he then thoroughly wets the table all over, the top, all around it, and the sides and the legs. as he then proceeds to the next steps and takes his soap and soaps the table up all over again. Last he creates suds then wipes it up and at the end he cleans up his work. This whole process can easily take 30 minutes and takes a lot of concentration. Clean up 
in Montessori happens just as carefully as the work itself. Notice how the teacher shows the boy how to try, dry the dish and how to put all parts of the work together again on the tray and how the boy replaces all of it in its proper spot on the shelf. A well-run Montessori classroom is a busy place, a place where children work purposefully, independently and learn a great deal.